Hi, everyone. Hey, Mike, Noah, Gina. Awesome. They'll be coming in now. Let me turn, let me shut that door. Oh, and we have a ton of rain. So hope everyone's doing great. Nice sunny day, cool. <laughs> One extreme to the other here. Gina, how did you uh, do with your painting? Have you done it yet? Hey, Lisa. Hey, Dot. Good to see you. So we're going to do some mixed media um, jelly printing. I haven't done that in a while. And then we'll be doing a little bit of file folder, junk journal stuff. And I've got some neat, awesome news. Hey, Gail. I need to practice the leaves some more and I might get some of that other stuff. Okay, yeah, it does take a little bit of practice, Gina. Don't get discouraged. You probably have to do a few sheets, but you'll get the hang of it, I'm sure. Yeah, the molding paste does make a really nice raised finished look. You can also use um, a gel medium, like the really heavy gel medium, and just color it. Still. Ah, oh, really? They're still not opening? Till the end of July. Wow. Well, better safe than sorry, Dot. Hi, Rosemary. Awesome. Glad you're here. I'm going to do some jelly printing with leaves, and I'm going to be showing a really neat junk journal digi work that I'm very excited about. It's going to be in my um, file folders and junk journals we're going to make. <laughs> well, I'd rather see you safe, Dot, than get sick. Hey, Colleen. Good to see you. Joan. How's the weather over there in the UK? I heard you guys are getting kind of a drought, which is odd for you. You're usually rainy. Cola, hi. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Wet and cold at the moment. Oh. Yeah. It's only, what, 13 here, which is odd. It was 31 the other day. Hey, Janet. Good to see you. So, you just never know what you're going to get in the weather. I see Toronto, too. Or not Toronto, London area. There was a tornado warning last night.
we hardly ever see that here. We have had rain all week, Kathy. It is down heavy here. Oh. So I don't know why they, where was it? We needed the rain here. Very dry. The ground was cracking so dry. So we got a nice good rain. So hope uh, you're all ready for a little bit of a messy day today <laughs> and a jelly print. I haven't done this in a long time and it's going to be fun. And I thought, let's use some actual plants. So I went out, picked a bunch of stuff just to see what it would do. And um, I'm thinking of trying eco dyeing also. Rosemary. <laughs> Rosemary, have you ever done it in the microwave? I read this um, blog where this woman does it in the microwave in plastic bags. And she's got gorgeous stuff. Yeah, Barb stuff. Her name's Barb. How did you like it? So I thought I might give it a try. I've got some really uh, different plants here. And, and uh, I was also watching a thing on natural dyes, what certain plants give off different dyes. And did you know that spinach goes aqua color in water. So I'm going to try that. I'm growing spinach. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Colleen. The microwave would be easier. Uh, it comes out nice in the micro, but I got back to old school. Uh, okay. I just thought, you know, for small amounts, it would probably be uh, a little less messy and no boiling. Your papers don't have to be, like, they can be um, moist, but they don't have to be sopping wet. So I'm figuring it wouldn't tear as much. Oh, did you, Gina? Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm going to put these aside. They're a little limp, but you want limp ones. They lay flatter. And I got some of these. I got ideas for these guys. And I wanted to show you this. This. I'm so excited. These are digi prints from Alpha Channel, and it's my son and his friends are opening a new Etsy for digital prints, and the neat thing about it is that they're, um, they're digital artists from the video game industry, so this is going to be a, a sideline for them, and I thought, oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine what we're going to get from a video game onto digital? I think this is going to be so cool. Yes, my son Mike. He's in the chat. <laughs> and Noah. And who else was it? Speak up, guys. And I'm going to put the link for their Etsy in the description below after video has downloaded
Oh, are you, Gina? Oh, yeah, this is going to be totally awesome. There, Noah, Mike, they're saying hi. <laughs> I think it's going to be awesome. So you got any ideas that what you want to see? Throw them out there <laughs> and let them see. This is going to be so cool. And they're, they're, um, they gave them to me to play with, to see what I can do with. So we're going to be doing some of these online to see what we can play with, add to. I think it's going to be cool. I'm really excited. So Alpha Channel on Etsy. Yeah, so these are going to be gorgeous. There's, um, I think he said 29 different. I, I didn't print them all out yet, so there's a lot more than this. I love this one, too, the stained glass, of course. But that's going to be so cool. We can use them for collage. You can use them for a full background page. I think it's going to be really neat. You can find it under Alpha Channel Media. Okay, Alpha Channel Media. Mike, I made you mo a monitor, so you can actually put your link in there if you want. I, this is cool. Look at that. I like the fogginess of it, too. I think that is so cool. Oh, thanks, Paul. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> thanks, Helen. You're awesome. You're right on it, <laughs> Pacola. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, take a look at their site. I think it's going to be awesome. And then we can um, do a bunch of junk journals together. This is kind of going to be the forest type of look. But they've got all kinds of ideas coming for mermaids and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, aren't these beautiful? I love them. We could print them on vellum, on um, transparencies. These would look so awesome. So I got a lot of ideas of using tissue paper, even printing on tissue paper and using them in books as windows and all kinds of stuff. So as you know, everybody's kind of waiting and uh, they just graduated this year and <laughs> Corona struck. So give them a look and help support these starving artists. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. All right. So this is my jelly plate. And I thought... I saw these in my garden. These are off of um, a Colorado blue spruce. And I actually had, these have been inside. See how they're open? So apparently when you let them dry, they open. And then when they're wet, they close. And I didn't know that. <laughs> so, I, And what do these look like, guys? What do these look like to you? I'm thinking a mermaid tail. So I thought, well, I think we should try and jelly print with these. And it would be really cool. Yeah, fish scales. You could also uh, take them apart and um, 
glue them, spray paint them and glue them, that would look cool too. Yeah, we can use, they could be fish, they could be all kinds of stuff. So that's what my plan is for today. Dragon scales, awesome idea, yeah. So I got all my paint out ready. I even, <laughs> Rosemary, when I saw your um, eco printing, for Christmas I got a bouquet for my sister and I saved it. <laughs> but look, well, I took the flowers out, but they're still... I'm wondering if these would um, equal print with the dye out of these or like a burgundy color. We could print with those too, probably. Palm trees. Yeah, it does. Well, we're going to see what else we can figure out. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So I got my paint. I brought my hair dryer down water now as uh if you remember most of you i prefer doing um jelly prints a little bit different than most people i prefer putting the paint on the side and then using um the roller i roll my paint on the side and then put it on. I just find it, um, you don't have as much problem with too much paint that way. Um, when you're lifting your prints, a lot of people put too much paint in it and you end up having to take off a lot of paint before you get a good print. Okay, I just put seeds on there. This could be tricky. So let's see. How am I going to do this? Let's go with a cobalt teal. So, in case you're wondering, it means black belt. Awesome. I think I'm just going to see what these pine cones do. And I'm working with... Um, artist grade paint so it's not going to look like there's much on the plate because it, it goes on a little thinner but I like it that way okay let's lay it down maybe roll it a bit let's try and open one well that's cool baby one. Hey, Eileen. We're jelly printing with odd stuff, but I think it'll be cool. Print that just to see what comes out of it. Okay. So there's what the, it doesn't give, a, 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 
it's not bad, but it doesn't really show as um, I guess you could use it. It's not bad. Okay, maybe a little bit of what's this? Pale blue. That one squirts out. I always find the atelier does that. This is a hollyhock leaf. So we'll put it down on the face of it. See what it does. Let's roll it. So I'm just playing. You can use these in your journals, making books, all kinds of stuff. Well, that's cool. So you get a little bit of veining from where I rolled over it with the brayer. I'm going to use this one. Hey, Deb. Cool. That one turned out really nice. Look at that. It's full eco printing. <laughs> That's cool. Put some yellow on here. So there's going to be a mix of a blue mixing with the yellow. So you're going to get some greens and where your blues. Let's see what else we got here. This isn't fern. I don't know what it is. I forget the name of it, but 
any case, let's put one down here. Let's use some clovers. Then let's roll over it. Take that one up. Hmm. Let's see. Looks like they call leather leaf greenery. What, that one that I didn't know the name of it? Grows in the shade. Do you see the What else? Let's put a paper right on top. Smush it. Thanks, Pecola. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun with that. I can't wait to play with that. I imagine we'll see some really different types of digital art being that they're gamers. <laughs> they're not gamers. Well, they are gamers, but they actually make the games. So they're digital video game artists. They're like a whiz on the computer. That's kind of cool. Just an outline. So let's lift this up. I like the the um, hollyhock leaf. That's really cool. Oh, I wonder. I'm going to let it dry. 
Get my hair dryer. Got a cool button, so. Uh, do they work for video game? No, they just graduated, Devin. Just graduated. Three years of schooling, and they just graduated, and then Corona hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see. What color do I want? Buff, maybe? Um... Where did I put that? Wow. I know I got it out. Where the heck did I put it? Give me that guy. Find my well, I got some of this. Works or not. Quick, quick. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I like this. It's like eco printing <laughs> and not having to wait. This is cool. Look how clear that came out. That is so awesome. Very cool. What other colors should we do? Maybe brown. Let's try a brown one. I'm going to put it on the paper this time. Maybe a bit of yellow with it.
Well, it turned into a nice line for kind of a tacky green. That's nice. I like that. Let's see, what can we put on here? Put some more of this on. I'm going to try the back to see if it's any different. Little one, oop, tore it. I end up picking all my hollyhocks. <laughs> I wonder what all the flowers would do. They might be interesting. All right. And Kathy, you should still sell these as down. Oh, that's a good idea. That's just the whatever. See, gardening comes in handy. <laughs> Let's see what this one's going to be. Let's just do it on white. I need some coffee. I'm calling Cass Cat. Oh, that one turned out cool. Look at that. Wow, I love this. This is totally awesome. Look how detailed it is. Isn't that awesome? And these are just dandelions. Guys, go into the field and pick a bunch of dandelions. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to go out and pick a bunch of all kinds of stuff to see how it'll print. That's totally awesome. Grasses would look cool too. Okay, let's do um I think I'm just going well, let me think. No. Maybe A bit of white. Some green gold. And some raw umber. Let's see. I 
I think I may need may need a bigger jelly plate. <laughs> These are totally awesome. And you can reuse them. That's a nice thing, because once you get the paint on, they get stiffer. But they still have the, the neat uh, marks. We could make a... Let's see. I like overlapping them, too. That looks cool. Yeah, sticky. Hmm, forgot about this. Put that one in there. Let's see what it does. Tissue paper. This is dry. Tissue paper. This is just see what it does. Just to take it up. Here, you can use this tissue paper. Wild carrot would be. I think that's one of the ones I have here. It's really cool too. Let's see, let's dry that. So hair dryer. Hope that's not too loud for you guys. It's pretty loud. Um, what color should I put on that? Mm. I wish I could find my, I had a big bottle of I wonder if black would go. What do you think? Black? Try black? Or would it be too dark? Hmm. Or a buff. I wish I could find my buff. Where would I put that? I had a um, nice but not this really thick stuff. I had the regular buff. Um, Kathy, I've done these plant prints with metallic on black paper and they turned out. Oh, that would be nice. Hmm. I don't know if I have any black paper.
going to be another thing on my list. Black paper now. <laughs> Well, I guess I could do a metallic one and then um, lift it on with black paint. That would probably work. Um, it has not enabled you with Patty's black. No, not yet. <laughs> I didn't see that. I'm going to try that, Rosemary. Thanks for the suggestion. Mm, that's nice. A little, little lighter, but it's still nice. Be a nice background one. I like the, I like these. They're, um, oh, what are they called now? King Tut Grass. They're an, well, for here they're an annual, but in the tropics they aren't. Eileen, you could probably get those. Okay, let's try the metallic. Um, copper? Or antique gold? Iridescent bronze, fine. Would be nice too. Big one. Oops, I got here. This is the wild carrot. It looked kind of cool. We'll just do that for now. Maybe we'll use the rest of this tissue. I wonder if I got black tissue. That might be cool. Lift. That's cool. Just the outline.
Here, we'll dry that. Cass, you need that black bond paper. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> I'm going to put it on here. There. Now well, let's see. Does anyone know uh, a goo indigo acrylic plate paint? A good, oh, indigo? I've got an indigo. Uh, it's golden. I like it. Are you thinking of store or um, artist grade or? A craft paint. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Nice. That one's cool. I like it. Something to jelly print? Let me see if I can find it.
I wonder if I took it out already. Oh no, it's it's this one. Indigo blue. I, I'm pretty sure I had indigo blue. Oh, you can try this one. This is a really nice color. Turn this off. I know I have one somewhere, probably in the other room. Make sure it's pressed down the leaves as much as you can so it leaves a good print. It's almost a blue jean blue, denim blue. what to put it on dry it and then what color Can you put it on this or maybe this one or just the color. What if we put it on gold or bronze? Let's try that. Or maybe copper. All right, let's see what this works out. This might be cool. Celery leaves too. Yeah, you could do celery leaves. Most of these are weeds. 
except for my hollyhocks. Grass, long grass would be cool. Or small hosta leaves. If you have a little hosta leaves, they would be cool. Um, beech trees or birch have really detailed um, veining. They would be neat. Yeah, carrot tops would be awesome. That is really good for um, eco dyeing because it, it um, leaches out yellow and the spinach leaches out turquoise. <laughs> the second layer of paint on top of the plants probably muddy edges, but I get ready to go. I wonder what would happen if put a second layer paint on top of the plant. Oh, on top of the plants? Hmm. Yeah, it might work. Get a different print. Could try it. It's all about experimenting. Oh, this is pretty. Yes, I like this one. Look at that. It's got a little bit of green in it, too, from the time before. Oh, I love these. Isn't that gorgeous? You could do daisies. I bet that would be cool. That was the color you pulled with. Oh, oh, the color I pulled with was the Liquitex High Viscosity Acrylic Iridescent Rich Copper. This is a very old one. I don't know if they still have it. Isn't that blue pretty in this? Oh, I love that one. That's so pretty. Totally awesome. This is addicting. <laughs> Uh-oh. We need to buy more paper. Let's see. Let's try the iridescent antique gold with what color? How about a phthalo green? Or what other colors I got here? Let's see what other iridescent ones. Some luminaire. I found. Forgot I even had it. I haven't. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, it's still good. That might be cool. Stir it up.
might be a little different. Not sure what this one was. The weed. I love these guys, so they're my favorite. That's good, Devin. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> just some Let's put take these up. <laughs> Everyone's going to go out and start picking weeds. Don't get the weed spray out. You want the weeds. <laughs> Let them grow. <laughs> Your neighbors are all going to wonder, what the heck? <laughs> Why is she doing that? Let's dry it. <laughs> Let's pick it up with this. Should we do black or blue? Maybe the blue one. Let's roll this one up. Garbage. Got a little bit, bit of black in it. This whole almost reminds me of the uh, uh, a writing ink blue. And this is just cartridge paper, nothing special. Because when my husband gets home and sees the way he did garden, he's up to. 
Blueprint blue. Yeah, that's what it is. Blueprint blue. Not as bright, but it's still pretty. So the um, hollyhock, the paint that was on the hollyhock leaf actually printed. There's green there. That's cool. I like the unevenness of the background, too. You could um, enhance these with a white pen or a silver pen. That would be pretty. Okay, let's move this up. Racing. Let's do the reverse. So the the blue and then the um, luminaire background. Let's see if we get a print off of that. And this has gold. Let's see if we get any gold off of it. That one. Just stick it in there. Some of this. Okay, print it on some tissue or deli paper. Really get in there with your fingers and squish it down as much as you can. Especially the uh, ferny type ones, you get more of a print then. We'll use these for something. It's nice that you can keep reusing there. Look at look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> Maybe we should dry it like that and stick it on our paper. Okay, so let's clean this sprayer off a little bit. Get some of this on. Just need a tad bit more. Yeah. 
Okay. Actually, I wonder. I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to put another layer on top. Let's do some I put that. And then I'm going to use white. More of that. Try that. Then, yeah, blue. What color should I lift it? Hmm, thinking. I think I'm going to go I wonder if I should go yellow a light yellow I'm going to try it what the heck I can always do it again A real light coat of yellow.
Sorry, most people love circles. <laughs> Percolate a little bit. Well, that's cool. That's neat. I like the stencil in the background. Very awesome. Interesting how the um, circles went blue. And I used white. It must have been blue on the plate. Left over. That's cool. Awesome. Okay. Let's do. No, let's see what color paint. Maybe let's go black. want too much paint because then I think it doesn't print quite as nicely if there's too much on it. There it is. Maybe I don't need it. Okay. Let's print this. I'm just going to do the back of this.
And I never found those PBO. I wish I knew where I put them. Um, two. Let me think. What to use? Gold and white. in gold. getting into there but even if it's just a smidgen of gold will look nice all right then we'll take some white where is it dry that first this off make sure there's nothing on it and we'll put some white on here comes Chloe it's about time to pester
movies. Community tab. Uh, tab will let you upload files, but you may need to use a zip folder due to size. What are you talking about? Deb, are you talking to me? Hi, Al. Welcome to the gang. <laughs> You never know what we're going to do. So what are you talking about, the files? I must have missed something. Don't know what you're talking about, the zip folder. <laughs> we were just saying one of those prints would be a great perk. Oh, okay. Well, I can always put it on my Google um drive the link then you can download it that's all right not bad but i like the other ones better It's very, um, it's not as detailed. So I don't know whether my leaves are getting caked with paint or what. <laughs> that could be. Let's do some copper again. Like that. Tissue paper.
And I'm going to try something. Here's my, I have a sponge here somewhere. White. Or maybe try buff. Try buff. Or maybe it should be black. Maybe black. Okay, now we'll take these off. Now we'll use the buff. Dry? I better dry it first. Woo, almost. Almost goofed. Piece of button there. All right. See how this one goes. Yes, you can share file images of some prints to members. <laughs> yes, Debbie. <laughs> A 
Brooks on tonight at six o'clock Eastern. And Debbie Apps, if you haven't heard Debbie, another great artist, try her. Go to her her channel. She'll be streaming tomorrow at four Eastern, was it? And she'll be doing some jelly printing also. Thanks, Pacola. You're great. Putting up all those links. It's very pale, but it's pretty. Very pretty. I love how the, even though they're they're thick stemmed, it gives it dimension. It's so pretty. That that was with the um, copper. This one. Very pretty. Yeah, very organic. You could use romaine lettuce, too. <laughs> Everybody's going to use their vegetables. <laughs> Let's do a blue one again. And what time is it? Not too bad. Now here's the big stem of, this is um, clover. Ferns and stuff like that. They look so cool. I got here. Next time I'm going to pick a whole bunch of different stuff. <laughs> I just ran out for like a second. I don't know, I'll try this. <laughs> now I know. It's so awesome. See, I'm going to put this right over top of this. See what it does. One can go there. Here. The um, deli or tissue is probably the best for getting everything like taking up that excess paint in between the leaves because you can rub it down fairly easily. So your copy paper is just a bit too thick to get it close enough to the foliage. Oh, 
probably get more off of there. few circles in gold. Running out. There. Right. Let's lift them. And let's use the ink buff. Well, you don't want a lot on the last layer. And I got to dry. I almost forgot again. Oh, that's all I better do. So you could really play with stencils in this and different layers and add add stenciling on it afterwards would be cool.
little pretty. A little more um, distressed looking, but I like it. Very cool. All right, so I'll show you what we did today. So of course we have all of these. These we can use, we can jelly print on them again, if you wanted to. But don't throw them out, you can reuse these. I'll, I'll do another um, stream on that, how to use up that type of jelly print, see? And then this one, I'll take you in a little bit so you can see them. There's another that. This one was kind of distressed looking. Got the uh, stenciling on top. This one was pretty. It's with luminance. Got a bit of shine to it. There's another negative. This is pretty. A little darker, but it is pretty. I love this, how it came up. I think that's so cool. And just this one was beautiful. I love this one. That came out so nice. And that one was all artist grade. Look at the that, how detailed it is. There's the blue. And there's a negative again. Negative. This one black and gold. Pretty. Green. And there's without background, just the plain. These are really nice. I like these. These would be really pretty done on different colored paper. Negative. And that one. So that's it for today. And of course, You'll see in the chat all these gorgeous digi prints that you can download for doing collage. I believe there's 29 sheets to look, look for. We'll be doing some work with these. So be sure to check those out on Etsy. And that was the Alpha channel on Etsy. So that's it. So we'll be playing with these in the future in our journaling. Um, Kathy will probably be using it in your class that is coming up. Um, when did, it, did I say that? I haven't got my book. I believe it's, it's 24th or 26th. And we'll be doing some um, awesome journaling uh, making books. Yeah, they turned out great. I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Next time I'll, well, if I use flowers, though, you could only use them like once probably. But yeah, I'm going to try a whole bunch of different stuff.
Thank you, Pacola, so much for putting all that stuff in for me. That was awesome of you. And if you're at all um, interested in learning more, I do have a join button now and you can just press that and it'll tell you all the information you need to know about the different levels. And it would be great to have you as a member. So thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the beautiful day. It's gorgeous here right now. It's windy, but it, it is nice. And we'll see you tomorrow. i um, not sure who's on tonight, Thursday. I'm not sure. Um, tomorrow is Debbie Epps. Check her out. She'll be doing some jelly printing. She does fantastic collage. And, um, yeah, stay creative, people. Have a great day. Oh, Brooke's on tonight, 6 o'clock. That's right. All right, thank you. Stay creative. Thanks, Pecola.